All right, so now let's go ahead and create a session. So let's click here, create session. Uh, let's enter a session name. So for example, it can, it can be um, it can be the name of the session, session one, and the name of your or the date of your class. For example, uh, session one, March eleventh, um, and then session two, March eleventh, and so on. All right. So here on the right side is the uh, settings for this session. Very important. We need to go through this every time we create a session. All right. Let's scroll down here. Um, here you have the option of allowing students to be as guests. So for example, if a student is not able to log in into the system for whatever reason, you can supply the student with a link and he or she will be able to um, click on that link and enter their name and be able to participate in the session. All right. So again, click on copy and send the links directly to your students who have problems with logging in into Blackboard. Now let's scroll down to event details. This is where you enter your start and end time. Typically you will start with your normal class time. So for example, if you have a class on Wednesday at 8 a.m. and you would end it at 940 the same time. Make sure do not uh, make sure you do not click no end because that will leave the session open. We do not want to do that. You can repeat the session, but I would pro advise that you create a session um, for every time you teach the class all right um, for recording purposes all right scroll down where you see early entry here you have the option to allow students to not enter the class before the starting time or in 15 minute intervals from 15 minutes all the way up to 60 minutes in this case I'll do 15 minutes before the start time here you have the option of providing a description For example, here is an, uh, a sample of a description that I would use with my students or the class. And now I will scroll down until session settings. Um, here you can give settings to the participants who are which are going to be your students. You can allow the option for recording downloads. All right. Um, anonymized chat messages. I would not select this option. Uh, you can show profile pictures which is not that important but here um, this is where you can give students access to utilize their audio or their video or chat messages so if they want to answer questions you might ask them to um, type in the answer in the chat box or they can draw or write on the whiteboard which we will show you shortly um, here enable session telephony you do not need to do that All right scroll down and click save now here it will show that the session is in progress starting from this time until this time now you as a teacher you're ready to go ahead and join in the class all you have to do is click on this um, but before that in the event that you need to change the settings again um, you can click on edit settings or you can view reports you can take the guest link again or you can delete the session if you like so now let's go ahead and click on join session this will take you to the following page all right it should give you the welcome uh, screen uh, as of right now I am the only one in the room but normally you will find um, students in your classroom if they're logged in all right here below you have the option to share your audio as a presenter and it would turn to green um, here you click on share video which will allow you to share your video from your laptop camera and it will show at the bottom left corner of your screen if you do not want to show your, show, share your video, just go ahead and click on it, and it will stop the video. 
here you have the option to raise your hand or lower it okay. now at the top left corner you have the option to start recording your session and you will notice that you get a message that your session is being recorded and you have a little red dot showing that the camera is in progress All right. Um, here at the bottom right corner of your screen you have this little purple um, icon which would show the panel the first option here is where you can text messages to your students um, here will give you a list of your attendees which would show the students if they're logged in here is the option where you can share the content of your course material and here are your settings if you want to go ahead and uh, change up the settings that you want to use for your class all right let's go back to the chat box option here you can type in um, and this message will go to all of your students all right now you will see that I have some students that have logged in into the classroom again you will notice here under the tab below attendees I'm the moderator which is the teacher and I have a couple students who are already logged in um, here I have the option as a moderator um, to click this option here to check the experience of the internet if it's well or not here where the students are if you click on the right side attendee controls I have the option to send a chat message directly to the student um, I can make the student a moderator or a presenter so if I want the student to go ahead and speak I would make him as a presenter and now you notice that demo student number two is a presenter if I want to remove him I just go ahead and make him a participant again I have the op option also to remove the student from the session okay all right now um, again we'll do a little practice with chatting um, please answer question number one for example and the students can reply um, directly as you can see here great job or I can send this a message directly to the student and there you go okay so you have options students all of them or individually okay all right, you're welcome all right now we can also students can raise their hands by clicking here below or they can lower it to answer a question so here for example this demo student number two raises his hand so I can lower it from here all right um, and so on um, I can mute all the attendees by clicking the top option here below uh, on the top right corner under more options and I can select mute all if I don't want any of the students to speak okay. all right uh, now the most important thing is we need to click on how to share the content of our desktop so here we click on the third tab called share content we have the option here um, we can share a blank whiteboard as you can see here where you can uh, use a pointer you can use a pencil to write um, or draw you can use shapes or you can, you can use text by clicking on the T and then selecting a spot on the whiteboard and you can select the color you like and if you want to erase go ahead and click clear All right. again you have the option to allow students to also utilize the whiteboard if you want under the settings from the beginning of when you set up the session All right. to stop it you can click on stop sharing all right now let's click on share application screen this is very important if we want to display our uh, bookshelf um, Oxford presenter presenter tool 
So let's go ahead and click on that. You have the option of showing your entire screen of your um, desktop, of your laptop, or the application window, which is specific to um, a specific application you want to choose open, or if you have website links that you want to share with your students to view. All right. So let's go ahead and click on entire screen and make sure you click on share audio so that students can listen to the audio from the Oxford bookshelf. Right. And let's go ahead and click on share. Right. So I will select bookshelf and the students will be able to see this exact screen um, while they're viewing. And you see here, I have the option to stop sharing. Okay. Now, if you want to do the same thing, just like you teach in class, you want to play the audio, just click on the audio option, you click play. Unit eight. Listening one. Activity A. And whatever is being played, the audio, the students will be able to listen to that also. All right. Um, same thing with any video uh, files on the presentation tools. All right. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and click stop sharing if you want. And you can go back to your regular screen here. If you want to share files, you can if you have any files to upload. If it was a PowerPoint image or PDF files, you can upload that and the students will be able to have access to that. Um, you also have the option of using a polling option where you can use a multiple choice or yes no um, choices. So for example, I'll click here and I'll type in a question. Did you understand the lesson today? Alright, and click start. And it will show right here in the screen where students can um, select. And then you, if you select below show responses, you get to see the amount of students, um, what options they've chosen. Or you can clear it here or hide the responses. If you want to stop the, the uh, poll, all you have to do is click stop. All right. Again, here are the options below if you want to share your audio, your video, or raise your hand. Now, if you're ready to leave the session, all you have to do is click here below under My Status and Settings. You can choose to be away from your session, or you can leave your session totally by clicking Leave Session. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we do that, make sure you want to stop your recording. So by clicking um, at the top left corner, select Stop Recording. And it would give you a message the recording has stopped. All right, so let's go ahead and leave the session. There will be a feedback to ask you about how is the audio and video during the session. Submit and exit. You'll get a message that says thanks for helping us, um, that you, you have left the session and you can close the um, browser window. And that will take you back to your demo session. You notice here it's still in progress. Okay, so if you want to change the timing, all you have to do is select the current timing. And select save. All right, here it will show that this session has ended. So now let's go ahead and click at the uh, session options where you have the option to be able to view reports, um, edit settings, delete the session, or give the link to the student. You will, be also, you will also have the option to download the video once, you have, um, once it has completed recording the session. All right, so if you go all previous sessions, um, demo session here and you should be able to download the video once it's ready or you click on the menu here click under recordings and once it's complete you'll find that all the recordings will be available since we just started we since we just finished the recording it will take some time all right 
right, this concludes the uh, training session.